Have you seen the Great Hall of the People at 6 a.m.? You know, I've been following the ecological issues including biodiversity, carbon emissions, and climate change. And I noticed that these issues are high on the agenda at the two sessions this year. Uh, primarily, Pechang said China will take orderly steps to achieve carbon peaking and neutrality. And I'm really glad that I got to interview some experts in this area. Uh, I talked to Mr. Robin Li Yanhong, who is the CEO of Baidu. Uh, we talked about how smart transportation and green AI can help achieve carbon neutrality. I also interviewed the deputy director of China's forestry and grassland administration, and he said that since the establishment of China's first five national parks, the population of some flagship species has increased significantly, especially the Siberian tiger and the uh, Hainan gibbons. And he also said China has achieved land degradation neutrality in the desert area ahead of the United Nations 2030 goal. I also learned a new term, globally important agricultural heritage system. So it provides a traditional solution to both the ecologic and economic development. And remember the wandering elephants? I interviewed a CPPCC member from their hometown. She focuses on the compensation for local farmers when damages were caused by wildlife. And it's really good to hear that the villages along the elephant route have returned to normal. And about two months from now, the second phase of the uh, COP15 will be held in Yunnan province. That's where the CPPCC member is from. So she invited me to go over and tell more elephant stories. I am really, really looking forward to that. So I think that's so much about the two sessions this year. The CPPCC ends today and the NPC will end tomorrow. I hope you learned something new about it. But if you have more questions, uh, feel free to comment and ask me. I'll still bring the answers from here.